I'd like to introduce our, uh, a brief message from the dean of the Stanford School of Medicine, Lloyd Miner. He's a scientist, head and neck surgeon, and has been a real thought leader in AI and biomedicine uh, at Stanford and across the world, and a strong supporter of the Amy Center since its inception. Uh, he's the Carl and Elizabeth Nauman Dean of the School of Medicine. He's out of town, couldn't be here today, but he wanted to uh, give some welcoming rem remarks, so we have a recording of his remarks now. Good morning. I'm delighted to welcome you to the fourth annual Stanford Artificial Intelligence in Medicine and Imaging Symposium. In the last decade, scientists at Stanford Medicine and around the world have demonstrated the tremendous potential of AI and machine learning in medical research, care, and education. Stanford Medicine faculty have developed AI tools to accurately and quickly read chest x-rays, assess possible skin cancers with a smartphone, and train clinicians to better diagnose brain aneurysms, just to name a few. And with the exponential growth we've witnessed in generative AI and medical foundation models, just these last few months, the possibilities appear to be limited only by our imagination. Symposia like this one are crucial to realizing those possibilities. Universities and academic medical centers are uniquely positioned and resourced to lead this revolution. But I would go one step further and say that we have a responsibility to do so. Because even as we explore and test what is possible, it is vital that we do so thoughtfully, that we ensure technological advances do not exacerbate health equity gaps, but help to close them. We can accomplish this through evidence-based research rooted in transparency and through robust collaborations between academic medicine, industry, government, and community groups. Together, listening and learning from one another, we can foster both rapid and responsible progress. I'm excited for the future of biomedicine. I believe we're on the cusp of incredible breakthroughs in preventive and predictive medicine, fueled by artificial intelligence that could transform every aspect of our health and health care. And I have no doubt that the spark for one of those discoveries could be lit here today. I want to thank our conference team, led by Kurt Langlotz and Nigam Shaw, who have put together a fantastic program for you. And without further ado, welcome to the fourth annual Stanford Amy Symposium. Well, thank you, Lloyd. I, I really appreciate his wisdom and support through uh, all of the years of uh, Amy and really just building AI at Stanford more generally. It's, it's uh, wonderful to hear his comments.